Hey, my name's Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor your website using Termux running on Android instead of having to rely on a third party for monitoring and alerts. Alright, let's get started. Now, before you get started, you're going to first want to make sure you have Termux installed. You get Termux from Termux.com and you can install it either through the Google Play or through F-Droid. Once you have it installed, you need to get SSH access um, in the wiki there's a section called using the SSH server which talks you through setting up SSH and getting it running. Once you have that running you can uh, set up a nice little shortcut like I have here on my phone home screen. So I'm just going to tap that one and that tells me that the IP address of my phone is 192.168.20.16 so I'm going to SSH in there. Doesn't matter what user you SSH in as Mine's running on port 8022. And now you can see that I have access to my phone. Um, so the folder that we're going to be dealing with is Termux boot. You can see I've got the monitoring script in there already. You can get the monitoring script from my um, repository on GitHub github.com slash chr15m slash termux website monitoring and there's some instructions on how to install that so install termux get ssh working edit the monitor.sh script in this repo and change the site variable to your site so let's take a look at that site variable the monitor script I, i've already copied it over into .termux boot monitor.sh and you can see here it has this variable https fake site dot very fake no such site dot com now I've used a fake site there so that we can test out the functionality and make sure it fails correctly because the most important thing about monitoring is knowing when your site goes down so yeah as the instructions say copy it to your phone and install it in dot termux slash boot slash monitor.sh and termux boot We'll make sure that runs at startup time. Then you can reboot your phone or we can just run the script from the command line. So let's try that now with the failing. Uh, so over here on the phone we're going to go to the home screen and then we're going to run the monitor script with a failing site. Boot. So we're in .termux boot and we're going to say monitor.sh. Now what we should see over here is a notification pop up. That's there. I'll swipe down. And you can see here it says side down, failed to load. The script over here is still running. So it'll keep running in the background and it'll keep checking every five minutes. So every five minutes you'll get a notification. If you tap the uh, notification, what happens is it launches a browser window so you can see here it's opened Firefox on my phone and uh, from there you can see the actual page of the site you're trying to look at which if it's down should be down that's a way to confirm that so now let's look at the same script I'll cancel that and we'll uh, get rid of that tab get rid of Termux All right now let's run let's edit the script and put in our uh, correct site so let's edit that with BI and we'll do my site, mccormick.cx. So now this is this site is up. So when we run the monitor.sh, we should see it just print out. So over here, by the way, I'm, I'm SSH'd into my phone already. So this is taking place on this device. And it's running the monitor script. And by now, it will have already run the curl command it's just running in the background and successful because that site is up so it doesn't display any notification. So yeah, that's uh, site monitoring with Termux on Android. Thank you very much for watching. Dark mode.